Yo guys, Rethink Solutions here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can increase your FPS and lower latency by disabling these Windows settings. Now, these Windows settings are going to be called the Device Manager, and it's pretty much a compound of a bunch of unneeded devices. In the link in the description below, I'm going to leave the pack for download of what we're going to be using, so you can go ahead and download that now, and let's go ahead and jump into it. Alrighty guys, so the first step is we're going to head over to the link in description below and we're going to download the device FPS cleanup pack. So it's going to bring you guys to this media file link here. Either you'll click download right here where it says your download is starting or to automatically start. Mine automatically started. So we can go ahead and minimize this a bit and drag this out to your desktop. From here, let's go ahead and double click the zip file. And let's go ahead and drag this out to your desktop once again. So once you guys have it here, you guys will have these devices and uh, you will have the pack installed. So we're going to go ahead and leave it alone for now, but we'll be using this later. So the next step here, guys, we're going to go ahead and hit the Windows key or click the bottom left search. And we're going to type in control panel and it's going to pop up here. Let's click control panel. From there, you're going to look for device manager. Let's go ahead and click on this. Let's go ahead and full screen it. And it's going to bring up a list of devices here. So the first step you're going to actually do, and uh, this is primarily if you have an NVIDIA card, you're going to click view at the top, click devices by connection. Then you guys will be able to scroll down until you see PCI Express Root Complex. You'll click the left arrow to it. Then you guys will scroll down again and you guys will see a PCI to PCI bridge. Click the left arrow until you see one with your graphics card name. So as you guys see, my graphics card name is right here. So we're going to disable two things. Now, if you guys end up losing audio from this, then you can turn it back on. But most of you will not use these drivers at all. And they're just using latency and taking FPS up from your computer. So you're going to right click the high definition audio controller by your graphics card, right click it. You're going to click properties and you're going to click disable device. We're going to do the same thing down here. Nvidia USB 3.10 extensible host controller, right click it, disable device. So as you guys can see, and then they should look like mine and be fully disabled. Now we're going to leave the PCI device alone as that's all fine. So, once again, guys, make sure the high definition audio controller and the USB by your graphics card PCI to PCI bridge is disabled. You can do this by just right clicking them and clicking disable device, which is how we're going to be doing it. So let's click view at the top and we're going to do devices by type. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down to system devices. Now, once you see this, click the little left arrow and it's going to bring you this drop down. Now, the first thing we're going to go ahead and disable is we're going to be looking for a few things so let's go ahead and scroll down so you guys might see sm bus controller disable that composite bus enumerator disable that high precision event timer you will disable that the microsoft system management bios driver right click it disable this yes the UM bus root enumerator, disable that. You guys will be disabling the numeric data processor if you guys have that as well. Uh, programmable interrupt controller, you guys will make sure that's disabled as well. System timer, you'll disable that. Intel management interface, we're going to be disabling that. The unused PCI root express, we're going to be disabling that. You'll disable the Intel flash controller and that'll be it guys. So I'm going to put the link in the description below guys of that full list of devices. My windows is a bit different than you guys's. It's a custom version of windows. So a lot of that stuff actually already comes de bloated. Once again, I'm going to put a, uh, included in the link in the description is going to be a picture, which is going to have a list of all the devices you guys can disable. This is going to help heaps guys. Uh, so yeah, once you're done with this, you can go ahead and uh, just exit out of Device Manager. And we're, let's go ahead and open up the Device Cleanup FPS Pack. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. 
let's go ahead and right click device cleanup.exe you're gonna click devices click on select all and remove selected so then these are all gonna be removed now let's go ahead and right click MSI utility and run as administrator after this is on look for your graphics card mine is a 2070 super and make sure MSI is ticked guys you're gonna make sure this box is ticked after it's ticked you're gonna hit apply after you hit apply keep this on undefined as well so make sure the MSI box is ticked by your graphics card hit apply and then we'll exit out so guys that's gonna conclude the tutorial uh, I'm gonna include the picture within the device cleanup FPS pack of all the devices you guys want to make sure you have disabled it's gonna vary per Windows version but it's still gonna bring a list of all the devices you guys need to have disabled ask me any questions in the comments below hope this helped a lot and I'll see you guys in the next one